to Tales from the Basement, a podcast show from the sick mind of my husband, Clay Miles, recorded from where he dwells in the one place I allow him to live, the basement of his own house. And he better keep his ass in this basement. Well, here he is doing the only thing he can do right. Talk. Clay Miles. All right. Welcome back to Tales from the Basement with uh, Clay Miles. This is, uh, if you don't know the whole premise of the show, it's just me down here in the basement. I live in the basement of my home because <laughs> I'm going through a divorce like everybody else in the world. And this is the only place I'm allowed to uh, dwell. So I made a podcast show out of it. I just go out of here and bitch about life and everything from down here in my home, the basement. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, rules uh, that uh, we go by. When you send in emails, and please keep sending them in. Thank you. You guys have been great with that. Uh, please do not put names on the emails because I'm an idiot and I'll probably read it. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and take care of that. The next thing is uh, don't take it too seriously. So anyway, let's start off. Let's just start right into it. And uh, I'll tell you, uh, I've seen this uh, movie I want to talk about, Project X. i finally seen it. Now, see, seeing the previews of this thing, uh, I don't know how long ago the movie came out. But uh, it was just, it was incredible. You know what I mean? I mean, because the thing about it is, you know, they filmed it. They really partied like that. You know what I mean? They still party. I know they yelled cut and whatever, but that is, it's just, it's the same thing as if you're fucking a girl and, and they yell cut. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm going to continue. My dick's staying aside. So, you know, you can talk to us. Like, you, I mean, I ain't getting out. You know what I mean? So, you know, the party kept going. That's all I'm saying. The party kept going. So it was, inc- it was incredible. But, uh, I have a little boy. And I have a, a young lady as a, as a daughter. And watching this movie, I was so both ways because they were kids, you know. And you're sitting there watching the young boys do it. And you're like, yeah! You know, the young the guy comes out of you. God, hit that shit. Yes, yes, yes. But then your mind reminds you, oh, my God. I have a little girl list like that. And this is what these little motherfuckers are going to do to her. So, I mean, you, you start... You can't even enjoy the movie because you, because right when you start to go, yeah, you go, oh my god, that's my daughter. She's in high school, and th- it was the worst movie that you could possibly see if you had kids. And also, if you are a child in high school, do not let your parents watch this movie because I'm not gonna lie to you. I went upstairs and just started choking the shit out of my. God damn it! What are you doing? Keep your clothes on. She's never done a thing, but I just, I just had to beat the shit out of one of. Uh, just a child. I don't know. I, I just couldn't help it. You just you lose you lose your mind when you watch this movie as a parent. If you have children in uh in high school, and it's good to have a child in high school and watch this movie because you're gonna want to choke something. You're gonna want to put your arm. You just <laughs> what the hell were you doing? It was a movie. Just shut the fuck up. I mean, you just I'm sorry. That's the way you feel as a parent. You know what I mean? You want to shake the shit out of something. Just, oh. So, if, any, if nobody's ever seen this movie, uh, everybody had to hear about this. I mean, it was it was, it was was amazing. These guys uh, threw this incredible party. You know, they were losers. Uh, they were through the party like we all did. Well, I didn't have the money that these guys did. Jesus. The throw party. They ruined the block. They blew up the block. Literally blew up the, blew it up. It was great. Best part of the movie for me is when the adult hit the twelve year old like a grown man. I was, yes, oh god, yes. I've always wanted to do that. I literally, if I was in a the movie theater, I'd have got up and walked out. I'd have gave the guy a standing ovation and left. Like, you hit a kid. I'm like, god damn right he did. Yes, somebody. There's probably there's an adult swinging on kids because if you know the shit, the sh- sort of shit that went on in this movie. Somebody needed their ass kicked. That's all I'm saying. And just so you know, it, it, it was almost like Star Wars, meaning fantasy, because the uh, 
the drinking that these kids could do and take uh, ecstasy, I'm sorry. I, I'm we're, George Lucas had to be involved in this movie because th there's no way in fucking you know hell that you go that long. I know I couldn't. Not that I've ever done that, but <laughs> yeah. So that that movie. If you ever get a chance to see that movie, go see it. I, I actually really did enjoy the movie. Enjoyed choking the shit out of my kids at, at before that or after that, but either way, I like the movie. <clears throat> mm. Oh, I tell you, uh, like uh, as you guys know, it's summer. Picked up my kids today. Uh, I just had to. I just had to talk about this. Picked up my kids. And, you know, there's, there's just hundreds of kids out there. Now, I, this is my first time going to pick them up. And uh, you lose your mind as a parent. You lose your shit. Because you always, because you look at the media and everything, everybody's talking about everybody wants to fuck your kid. You, know, you got it in your mind that everybody wants to fuck your kid. You just, you have it in your mind that everybody wants to fuck your kid. So the reason I say that is because I'm at the school. And now they got, they got the kids coming down this hallway just like cattle. You know what I mean? It's just, I mean, you don't know which kid is yours. Now I'm nervous because I got two of these little motherfuckers to get. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? You know, all you think is somebody, somebody fucking my kid. Somebody fucking my kid right now. You know, oh, my God. Ah, what if he likes it? You know what I mean? You got all these things going in your mind if you're a guy. This is your first time picking the kid up. And all of a sudden, you're going to lose the kid within the sea of kids. You know what I mean? So I'm losing my mind. I'm literally losing my shit. And, of course, CJ... He can see. He can see that I'm losing my shit. I can't find my kids. So he hides behind all the kids. And as I'm looking for my kids, they're both standing behind me. And I'm losing my Jesus, motherfucker, my kids, ma'am. Do you ever see little, little, you know, kids? Little, the big head one and, you know, the one that looks like him, but a smaller version. And here, here I hear this little laughter on us. <laughs> you little bastards. Son of a. And you, you can't grab the kids and choke the shit out of them because, number one, you ain't watching Project X. So you can't, you know, you go to go to the judge, you can't explain that shit. My kids don't respect me. That's all I'm trying to say. Fuck. Jesus Christ. I wouldn't respect me either if I knew my dad was living down in the fucking... <laughs> uh... Oh, man. I actually got a uh, letter here from somebody. Somebody uh, wrote me. This is a guy. A guy wrote me. Thank you. Thank you, uh, kind sir. I'll write you later. Tell you thank you. He, he writes here. He says, uh, my kids, you know, my I get my kids for the summer. And he says, uh, what do you guys, what do you like to do with your kids in the summer? I tell you, we like. I like to take my kids swimming. Um, and actually, my kids went swimming today. Yep, they went swimming, and my sons are learning, you know, how to swim. CJ is really getting good. You know, he can jump in a deep end and go off to the side. Well, let, me, let me tell you what he did today. You'll love this. CJ actually goes on the uh, to the deep end, goes on the diving board. First time on a diving board. So I'm treading water, you know what I mean, just making sure, because if he wants to try it, you know what I mean, I'm going to be there to get him, you know, and it, he, he walks on the diving board, he goes, hey, Dad, uh, this is pretty high. Said, yeah, yeah, son, that's, that's the diving board, I, you, you know, you need to hurry your ass up, because I ain't too good at this treading water. And this is what he said, he goes, uh, I might need to rethink this word. Well, if you don't want to do it, you know, I, I understand, you know, just be a pussy. And he, and he goes, what? I'm a man. I go, eight, eight years old. I'm a man. I'm a man. He walks up to the ball. He walks up. He's on the thing, bouncing a little bit. And I go, okay, you're a man. Let's go. Let's do it on three. One, two. He says, start over at one. <laughs> okay. All right. We're starting over. One, two, and this mug bounced and said, to the summer, like he was toasting, <laughs> toasting the summer, 
to the summoner. It's like like these were his last great words, you know, of the of the mighty CJ. Like he was going down like like he was uh one of you know the king of three hundred or something. You know, it, it was like it was he. This kid is so fucking dramatic. Everything about him is just you, you know he's gonna do something in in the arts. You know, it's just, ugh. Okay, <clears throat> we got a great email here. Um, I'm gonna try to read this and not react too much till I get it all out. But uh, you're gonna love this. Okay, I don't know if this is real. I don't know if somebody's just trying to go ahead and just give me something. But either way, I'm. Hey, you you sent it in. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and and read it. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, it says, uh, okay, Clay, I got one for you. See if you can help me. I found out my husband has been corresponding with prostitutes. He picked up when he went on vacation. What? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! The booty was good. The booty was so good he needed to go ahead and email the girl afterwards and say, hey, how you doing? We need to make this work. <laughs> no, no, no. She likes me. You don't understand. Wow. Okay. Married dude, too. You already got the booty. Why are you still staying it? Okay. Whatever. Uh, okay. He emailed, the, he emailed them. Oh, it is one. Twice. But the second one hurt me the most. The second one hurts you the most? You're a stronger woman than me, because you know if I'm with a if I'm with a woman and she went and, and just fucked a normal dude and she got in contact with him afterwards once, you know, you, twice it hurts you. Women are strong. I'm sorry, man. I'm be honest. First off, you fuck somebody, I'm done with you. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's it. I mean, I, I'm not strong enough. Maybe I'm. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm not strong enough. That's it. Uh, okay. Let's see. Okay. The second one hurt me the most. Why? Okay. He sent her money. Damn. Afterwards? This motherfucker is getting sent money. What type of... This This girl had the type of pussy that was back in... What do you call... Uh, What movie was that? Oh. Uh, uh, with Eddie Murphy and... uh Oh, my... I forgot the movie. But her name was Sunshine, and that mug just said, you know, that pussy was so good, you could you threw it up in the air, it would turn into Sunshine. And that was her name, Sunshine. That's what type of pussy this bitch got. He's home emailing her and sending her money. Wow. This, mm, mm, mm. I hope I never run into this pussy. Oh, my God. Whew. I confronted him, uh, and he was ready to end the marriage. Is this the movie? <laughs> Yeah, put your mother on the phone. Uh, yeah, I ain't never coming home. <laughs> is this the book? This is a joke. Come on, man. This is too... Oh, wow. Okay. But we have a son. Oh, that sucks. Okay. He denied having sexual contact. Lies! <laughs> wow. He denied it. And you believed it. Okay. Well, wow. Okay. Yeah. He denied... Having sexual contact. So he just gives money away to, to prostitutes for no reason. He just, because she, because of the love in his heart for the world and he feels bad about her father and the reason why she's that, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he, yeah. Oh my God. Are you fucking, this is great. It goes, it goes on. He says he denies having sexual contact with the woman and said he was just flirting. So I forgave him. You are a good woman. I, I mean, wow. Wow. I need to find you. Are you kidding me? But I told him I wouldn't tolerate it a third time. Okay, good. Three strikes, you're out. Just like in baseball. They get paid millions of dollars. He's definitely not getting paid millions of dollars. And hopefully that prostitute's not getting paid millions of dollars. Three strikes, you're out. Fuck you. Gone. All right? You Now you got to, now let's, we're going to continue reading this. Okay, he agreed to have marriage counseling 
and do his part to convince me he would change. Okay. All right. If it's worth, you know, this sounds like it could be, could turn around. Is it worth it to try it again for the sake of our son? Uh, I don't trust him anymore, but I still love him. Ready to let go. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, should you, your question is, should you take him back? <laughs> Honestly, no. I mean, I mean, okay. If you can handle them, if you can, if you can never bring this up again, and 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 you know, and move on, and like you said, you gave him a third chance, and and you can sit back. Let's put it this way: if you go ahead with what you said, if you're going to give him a third chance, you ain't got to worry about whether you should take him back again. Give him a third chance because he's going to fuck it up either way. Period. He's already proven who he was. Understand, this guy's out of control. Ladies, let me explain something to you. Every guy is like this, okay? But we have control, all right? So we don't go to that route because we know that we can't We can't do that. You know what I mean? But we all would love, to, we would love, ladies don't want to hear it, we would love to do it. We would love to do it. He's trying to be big baller, you know, shot caller, whatever, throwing money at bitches, <laughs> from from where he is back to probably Vegas. <laughs> Let's be honest. Probably Vegas. Oh my God. Should you take him back? I, I mean, honestly, I mean, seriously, if you can if you can let it go. If you can let it go, because I'm gonna be honest with you, like I said, if you can let it go and know that you did not bring it up again and he still fucked up, yes. You know what I mean? Then you go ahead and leave. If you're willing to do that, but do not take him back to go ahead and beat him over the head with this. You can't do it. Even if you, even if your heart, like you said, in your heart, you don't trust him. You know what he did. So don't, don't, don't go searching for the answer. You already know the answer. Don't go searching for it. He's a liar. Okay. He's a liar. He's embarrassed. He does not want to explain to you, uh, what, you know, he actually did because he did it whatever dude you know there's no question he did it so just put it in your mind that he did it and move on with your relationship uh and give him that third chance i mean because this way you'll feel good about yourself you'll feel good and said i gave that cheating motherfucker a chance and he did a b and c you feel better about it so i would i'd give him another chance uh well if i was you because if i was you i'd be a woman be stronger me, if it's me, I'd be in the fucking basement if you can feel. <laughs> if it's me, I'm in the basement. I mean, because I'm a guy. You know what I mean? Like, we are not as strong as you women. We can't do this. Like, I couldn't do that. Oh, uh, that was a good one, though. Thank you for that. That was awesome. Hate that your life is going to shit, but hey, that was a good one, and I do appreciate it. I got another one here. It says, uh,. Uh, okay. You like this? It says okay. All right, Clay. How about this one? Can you give me advice? Can you give any advice to a male in his fifties? You call. You writing me? All right, that's cool. You're right. I am. You know, um, understanding things and. Further along than where I should, as my life is shown here in the basement. That's how I got here, because uh, I'm advanced. <laughs> uh, can you give me advice? Can you give any advice to a male in his 50s who is still a virgin? Wow! 50 years in this earth, he's never even had pussy. Are you kidding me? You need to be on Ripley's Believe It or Not, because I'm not buying. You... Uh, there's no way you could have at least at, at age of thirty you 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 weren't you become smoother in age and at, at the age of thirty you couldn't have slipped in some booty. Why don't you talk to this first guy who we talked to? I should hook you guys up because he's buying pussy. We need to get you some pussy. All right, family, we're gonna get some money together for this guy. We're gonna buy this guy some booty. And ladies, if you're my fans, go fuck this guy seriously. 50 years old? He could have a heart attack next year and not have any booty. I mean, I guess you never know what you're missing, but 
It, it, dude, it's better than your hand. I'll tell you that much. It is way better than your hand. I know the Vaseline is amazing. And please, if you're not beaten up, you are a terrorist, okay? God damn it. I'm talking to a terrorist. I do not support terror. This is bullshit. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, wow. Wow. Oh, he's still a virgin, and he uh, continues here with, uh, who is afraid of being intimate and hasn't even kissed a girl since high school. This this is amazing, because seriously, I mean, understand, women, when they get older, they get more aggressive, and they this couldn't happen. You, This is amazing. I mean, because literally, you, you literally would, would, would literally just by mistake get pussy. Especially women getting older. Once women hit 30, 35 years old, they are... They are they are like eighteen year olds, eighteen year old men who are just willing to go walking out the fuck, and you couldn't have bumped into one of these. You are, and you're not gay. So oh, Jesus Christ, this is amazing. These are the this are the best letters I've. <laughs> They're getting better. <laughs> Holy shit! Wow. Okay. Is it okay uh, to live? Was it was okay to live and enjoy life this way, or is sex something that every human should experience? Curious. Wow, dude. Yes, you should. You should. You should. At the sound of my voice, I'm gonna. I'm gonna give you the count of three. One, two, three. Go. The guns. Blam. You should be finding a prostitute. Seriously. You. You don't know what you're missing. Are you kidding me? Are you? This is something God has given. God has given us all those wonderful, you know, drugs, weed, and all the rest of that. It's from the earth. Pussies from the Lord. Why do you think it's so good? Are you kidding me? Yes. No. Go. Go get some. Go. I don't know what else to tell you. Go. Go. You are. You must be a millionaire because you have strength and resolve that I have never, ever demonstrated. I mean, my you. Jesus, I, I have, what, four or five kids, whatever the count is right now, so I, I'm telling you how good it is. It's amazing. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? But you're probably a millionaire, so who am I to tell you what to do? Now, if it's if it's me, you know, 50 years old, all I can tell you is wrap it up because you're the fucker that catches something because you, the first time you went out there and got some, wrap it up. <laughs> Wrap it up. You probably beat off with with Vaseline anyway, but still, <laughs> whoo, that was great. All right, <clears throat> I want to read some more here because we got some actual, you know, some good email or yeah, good mail coming in, and I, I appreciate it. Keep it coming. Uh, like I said, don't take it don't take it seriously. Reason why I say that uh, for this next one, I'm not going to get serious, but this person uh, has a problem. Um, and uh, okay, well let me just go ahead and read it. It says, uh, "Hey, dear Clay, uh, this is more of a statement than a uh, actual question. I just want your reaction." Uh, this person says, "You know, Father's Day, Mother's Day, uh, we all celebrate it." Says it's a commercial holiday, and she says, uh, "I don't like it." She said, "What if you did? What if you did not have good parents? Why, you know, should I have to celebrate uh, Father's Day or Mother's Day?" Blah blah. And she says, "I don't agree with the fact that um, everyone has to celebrate." What do you think? <clears throat> okay, well, uh, my opinion uh, is uh, you've been hurt, and I understand that. But seriously, you <laughs> you've got to grow up. I, I mean, literally, grow. You got to grow up. You got to grow up. The world does not revolve around you. I don't know that you know this, but there's like millions of other people on this planet, and I guarantee you, there's more people who don't feel like you. So if the majority decides, you know. We want to. We want to do something. Shouldn't the majority rule? I mean, that that's that's how we supposedly elect people. The majority, whatever the majority wants, the majority gets. I know that people say, "Oh, it's not like that." Clay, you know, 
you know, you know, you got money and all the rest of that involved. I understand what you're saying. I'm telling you how it's supposed to work. Period. That's how it's supposed to work. But the thing about it is, with you, you, you have been hurt. You have been hurt by your parents, and I totally understand that. You don't have to celebrate it, but but understand. Let me show you how this incredible that idea is. Okay, you decide you don't like something. Okay, and you want, you know, the whole world to stop it. You gotta stop it. This is bullshit. Okay, I don't want you to do this because I don't like it. It doesn't make me feel good. Holy cow! So as a child, you literally just you got your you got your own way. You had to get your own way as a child. When you when you cried for something, you seen those kids who just think that they just run everything, and then when their parents don't do one thing for them, they just lose their shit. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> okay, so you don't believe that people should be shaking with their right hand. You think they should be shaking with their left. Well, God damn it, we want to make you happy there, Queen. We're gonna, I'm going to start shaking with my left. You know what? We're going to make a proclamation today. We are going to shake with our left hands because she wants us to shake with our left. Are you fucking kidding me? Go up. Seriously. Seriously. I mean, we've all gone through bad shit with our parents. I don't even talk to my mom, okay? So, go, I mean, come on. I can't handle it, but I don't tell people, all right, everybody should go out and just kill their fucking mother, okay? And she should die today. That's it for her. She's done. If that's your problem with your parents. I'm sorry. That's your problem with your parents. But Clay can't celebrate. You, uh, whatever. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't even know how to make that funny. But Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. Wow. Grow up. Seriously. Uh, my opinion. Of course. <laughs> Put that disclaimer after all that hate. Hate, 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 hate. Just how I feel. <laughs> Dumbass, dumbass, stupid, 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 dumb, 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 uh, just my opinion. <laughs> this is one guy in the basement. <laughs> I can see her crying now. You angry motherfucker. Fuck you, Clank. If you want to send me hate mail, please send it, send it. I'll read that on the air, too. I have no problem. If I can go ahead and dish it out, I should be able to take it. Whatever you guys write me, I will read. I promise you. But hey, somebody already wrote me. <laughs> you fat fuck. <laughs> oh, last week somebody called me a fat fuck because I, you know, mess around with P90X and whatever. Calling it lies. I'm not saying I'm always right. I'm just saying that it, that was a more entertaining way to deal with it. Okay, I got another uh, letter here. This one, uh, this is pretty cool because I've gone through this. It's from a guy and uh, he has a daughter. And um, he says, uh, Clay, uh, my daughter has had her first, uh, is going to have, sorry, is going to have her first uh, guy um, over the house. Uh, she's uh, 14, and I'm really nervous about having him over. Um, what do you think I should do? Shh. Have him over the house. Have him over the, you are the home team. You want you in football what what do you want to play where do you want to play you want to play at home because you got your fans at rah, 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 rah. you that's home team home turf and then you bring the little man aside and you grab him by his neck as if you're holding him tight and your daughter's going to oh my god my daddy really really cares and he's treating him well and you squeeze him tight and you say it is it don't you say shit don't you say a fucking thing, okay? And just pretend to smile at your daughter. And then you let the young man know whatever cliche bullshit we've all said and or wanted to say. That's how you handle it. You do that. I've had to deal with that. My daughter, just as a matter of fact, a little while ago, she's she's about to be 15. Um, She had a little boy over. And uh, let me tell you, she didn't handle this right. And boy, all oh, hell broke loose. All hell broke loose. This is actually something I talk about on stage. But, okay, so she comes up. She says, Daddy, you know, this guy, you know, uh, he's going to come over. Now, there was another girl there. So she was like, this guy's going to come over and he's going to, you know, help us decorate uh, the basement. Down here in my house. All right. Well, I'm I'm on the mid-level. 
because I like watching the big TV when I watch, you know, sports. So I'm like, okay, you know, cool. You know, I know that they're, they're, they're decorating the uh, the basement because uh, that's where the kids stay. I didn't even tell you that. When I come home, I can't even get to my home. There's kids down here because of, because of the daycare. So it's all decorated and stuff. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to take pictures of it. You guys will see it. So they're down here decorating it. And um, I realized that, number one, I have not met the young man. Okay? This little motherfucker is in my house and hasn't said hello to me. How did he, first of all, I'm trying to figure, how did he walk past me? All right, all right, all right. No problem. I called my daughter. said, sweetheart, where's the young man at? Oh, uh, he's down here. He hasn't come and say hello to me. Now, okay, take a deep breath. Because motherfucker was getting ready to come out of my mouth. This mother, okay, okay. <sighs> Could you tell the young man to come upstairs and introduce himself? So he comes up, this scrawny little bitch. I mean, this my oh, I was like, what are you, you going to do with my daughter? Who's going to protect my daughter if, if she comes up and smacks my daughter? My daughter better be able to throw down because your little ass is going to be underneath a car somewhere shaking. She looks like a chalupa. It's freaking, all right, whatever. So he uh, comes up and uh, all cocky. So I said, uh, how you doing, son? How you doing? So I said, hi, how you doing? I go, uh, what's your name? And he goes, uh, well, uh, sir, my name is uh, Oscar. Okay. And then he looks at me and says, what's your name? I, I literally, the way I just pause is up, my brain shut off. Excuse me? What's my fucking name? I said, hold on. Hold on, motherfucker. I'm sorry. I said, hold on. What? What's, what? <laughs> what's my daughter's last name? Uh, my, uh, her last name is Miles. Then how the fuck don't you know what my name is? Mr. Miles, asshole. The fuck is your problem? You know what, little boy? We cool now? We gonna start drinking beers and shit? You and I are just that close? Why don't you come over and, you know, fuck my daughter? Uh, oh, Oscar? I'm Clay. You're Oscar. Let's go. Why don't we just go find some chicks and fuck them down here in the basement? What the fuck is wrong with you? So I let him go downstairs, and I'm pacing. Now. I'm still just, <laughs> just hot. I'm just this motherfucker, I don't, and he's a little small little bastard, so my son comes up, and goes, Dad, I can kick his ass, I, go, I know you can, but god damn it, not, not right now, don't, don't I, 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 maybe, 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 <laughs> oh my god, and then, and then, so finally I say, you know what, I yell downstairs, and I say, you know what, tell that little bastard to get the fuck out of my house, I'm sorry, I said it, tell that little bastard to get the fuck out of my house, so he leaves, and I realize, hey, I still, I have not seen this guy come in, and I haven't seen him leave. So finally I asked my daughter, I said, did he leave? She said, yeah, he left. And I go, well, how did he leave? Well, he left the way he came. Well, how did he get in the house? Oh, he came through the, through the uh, back door in the basement. What? Oh, my. You had, you had a man in my house not even come through the front door the first time he comes to your house? Now, now ladies, let me explain something to you. And guys are going to understand this. The first time a guy comes to your house, he does not come in the back door. What does that sound like? What is you can hear how that sounds. First time I went over that bitch's house, I went in the back door. Excuse me? It even sounds like I mean any any a guy does not respect you if the first time he comes over your house, he's sliding in the back door. It's serious. All right, ladies, just that's that's a gift from me to you. That's one to grow on. You had it oh my daughter, I, let's put it, she was grounded for, I think she's still grounded, tell you the truth, I don't even know, she was, she, she didn't even be, she wasn't even given a time, she just, I just looked and said, you know, you're just, you're just grounded, that's just who you are, that's a part of your name now, <laughs> you are Brianna Miles Grounded, okay, you add that hyphen to your name, you're grounded, that's who you are, you know what I mean, make it a middle name, Brianna Grounded Miles, I don't care, that's who you are, go to school, put a, put a, what do you call on your head, let, let the world know, grounded, so, yeah, your question, <laughs> no, let, it, let that happen, it's, like I said, it's your, it's your home turf, you can, you can set up cameras, you can listening devices. I mean, uh, uh, get get a Navy SEAL in there. You know, go get Michael Weston. You know what I mean? Go <laughs> have him meet the young man. You know, 
you you can do what you want. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Get get his his height, get his weight, get a picture with him. You know what I mean? So you can get every type of information that his parents, if his parents drop drop him off, be in the bushes like a marine. You know what I mean? Just be uh, getting your gully suit suit, and you know what I mean? And you know you you're pointing. You got you know get everything you need to. It's home turf. Hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> Uh, you're going to like this, this, uh, most of these, these questions bring out stories of me. I'm sorry, but they do. So I gotta, I gotta put me into it. That's how I do my podcast. I'm sorry if you don't like it. Seriously, just stop listening. So fuck you. <laughs> but, uh, this one right here, you like this. This guy says, uh, Clay, um, I'm kind of embarrassed, but I'm, um, and I am kind of bragging. You'll understand. So uh, I just had a little boy. And he had a huge dick. I mean, and, and it was big. And I know what you're thinking. <laughs> you don't know what I'm thinking. Cause I, but I know what you're thinking. Oh, are you kidding me? Yes. Oh, I mean, ladies, let me explain to you something. When you have a son and he has a, a, a really big dick, uh, and he comes out and when the nurses are, oh, my God. Woo, good God. I mean, let me explain to you why men love that. Of course, for the simple, for the, uh, for the reason why you think, because, okay, now you think that, you know, I have a big dick, you know, really easy, whatever. But no, it's not only that. It's the fact of I don't have to pull my pants down to let the world know I'm slaying. I can actually now be a gentleman. I can walk around with my pants up. Normally, I got to pull my pants down and act like it was a mistake or leave my zipper open and have the head, you know, hanging out next to the knee. You know, <laughs> no, I ain't got to do that. I don't have to do that because, yes, I understand what you're talking about because it happened to me twice. That's, I mean, I, when you have, when you have sons and that, and the God blesses you on that, that day, the first thing you do if you're me is you ask for a blood test because you go, I just want to make sure because I am going to, literally, I could die today. Just, I just want to know. I just, just. Come on, I know they look like me, but still, I just, I just want it to be no question, the fact, yes, oh, life is good. Somebody just kill me, because literally, it will not get any better for that for you as a man. Yeah, he, he died, yeah, he died, right after he saw how son, his big, you know, his sons were, he took his big dick and went in the grave and left us. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm with you, dude. I am with you. I understand why you're hyped, and you should be. Way to be. Way to do your job. I love how it had to do something with him, which was nothing to do with him. God just blessed you and um, blessed your sons. But it would be really even better if if your wife would be sitting down going, I don't know why you're happy. I don't know why. Must have skipped a generation, teeny weeny. You know, women, how you like to fuck with our teeny weeny. At least that, that's what I heard I, I, that women do. I don't just. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. That is funny. <clears throat> Oh, so uh, when this comes out, uh, actually, the, we've had a couple of uh, preseason football, you know, games, and everybody's worried about RG3 and, you know, uh, Peyton Manning. I, I literally been watching the Peyton Manning thing because I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I'm just intrigued because, you know, I, I just don't understand how you give give up the, the greatest quarterback of all time. I'm sorry. How do you give that guy up uh, from a guy who's not even proven? But, but they had their first uh, game, and, uh, you know, everybody was, you know, going to see what Peyton did. And, of course, he did great. You know, <laughs> if you're if you're a Colts fan, you are literally looking at the uh, – the, the higher ups, the people who own the, the 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 Colts, and like seriously, okay, you know this guy is gonna be great. They're probably going to the Super Bowl. I mean, and you gave him up. You know, literally, <laughs> you know the Colts owners are just going down, going, 
uh, Andrew, uh, I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, you've got to be the greatest quarterback ever. Uh, no pressure or nothing. I know you've never taken a snap in a real game, but uh, that motherfucker's still healthy. And we went with you, buddy, so guess what? <laughs> what? How fucked is that? I mean, you, you know he's sitting there. With, he's got that fucked up mouth and wait thought he's out of the baby. I'm Andrew Young. And I better be a good quarterback. That sound like a half a tart. I'm sorry, he does. If you get mad at that, I'm sorry, but he does. I mean, literally, I hope, you know, I know he went to, you know, Stanford. He's way smarter than I'll ever be. But still, he sounds retarded. He literally sounds like he has a dick in his mouth when he talks. I'm sorry. Stop biting your tongue and get it out. You need to be an outstanding quarterback and you got to be a great salesman. Peyton Manning is a great salesman on TV. How many commercials have you seen that big head fucker? And I, Peyton Manning's head is just as tall as his body. How does he, I mean, literally, wow. Have you ever seen how big that motherfucker's head is? Yeah, I, I can talk about them because I'm in the basement. I'm a fucking nobody. That's how you know you're a nobody when you can talk about somebody. <laughs> and they'll never find out. You'll never get sued or nothing. Like, Did you know that Clay Miles was talking about you, Peyton? Uh, who's Clay Miles? <laughs> Fuck the world. I'm talking shit. Peyton Manning's a big head fuck and he was going to be a millionaire. Never know that I was talking about him. So who wins? He does. Clay, you're such a fucking loser. Talking about it. Uh, but still, if I was if I was the, uh, the higher ups, I would literally be looking at this and just going, seriously, what the fuck? This guy's good. They're going to go to the fucking Super Bowl. Well, you know, oh, I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. I just thought about that. That just really just uh, blew me away when I saw that the other night. It's just going to be enough. Uh, side, side note. Actually, I was in Hawaii. I was a Marine in Hawaii. You'll love this. I forgot to tell you guys this story. You'll love this. I was a Marine in Hawaii. And so they have the pro football, um, all pro, all, all pro game there. And I never went to the game. I never went to the game, but it was a whole week. You know, the players would come out, you know, and it was a great time. And it was a great time for me. I'll tell you, oh, it was a great time. Why? Because I was in shape. And let me tell you what I used to do. I used to walk the beach, put on put on a jersey, walk the beach, and just wait for these girls who came there to fucking NFL play. <laughs> Oh my God! Are you? Are you? And I look at him and go, mm, shh, shh, quiet, quiet, bitch, quiet. Shh, just, just come with me. And yeah, I'm him. I'm him. Just come with me. <laughs> hey, they win. I win. They went home. They fucked Emmett Smith. You know? And, oh my God! I fucked Emmett Smith. I was fucking Emmett Smith. Do you believe that? Damn, he can fuck. Woo, Emmett Smith. I got my, you know. Now, he's got to deal with the paternity test. But but Emmett's cool because it ain't going to be his kid. So it works out for everybody. <laughs> oh, there's going to be a kid who comes out with a microphone and a goatee. Is this thing on? <laughs> Hold on. Is this thing on, Mom? Oh, wah. <laughs> Am I loud? <laughs> God damn, this kid is loud. Why is he so loud? I don't know, Ma, but I don't look like nobody you fucked in the last year. So, wah. <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. So, anyway, I'm getting getting texts. That's, that's, that's how I, 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 talk, I talk to my wife. You don't talk face to face. We text each other. I'm down here. She's texting me. Let's go ahead and see what the, what the fuck she's talking about. Let's, let's see what the text is all about. What? is going on that's so important while I'm doing my podcast. Oh no, Mel. This is Mel. Hey Mel, what's up? Uh he's writing me black people jokes. Okay, look, he wrote me seriously. He wrote me a black people this guy has this app on his phone. I don't know if anybody else has this app, but it's uh <laughs> it has these like really, really offensive jokes. And this is, you know, one of my boys who, you know, you can't offend me. I mean we go back and forth, you know, just ripping each other apart. So he wrote me, uh, why, uh, why so 
Why so black? This is what he said. Why why so black people smell bad? He wrote that. So I read that, Mel. You you fucking illiterate motherfucker. I do that online all the time, but now the world will know. Why so black people smell bad? Wow. Let's say why. Let's go right, right back. Why? And hopefully he'll get us right back. We'll see. Let's we'll see what the answer to this joke is. I don't believe he wrote me this joke while I'm doing the fucking podcast. Let's see. Oh, oh! by the way, my wife said something to me. She says, uh, uh, going to take, uh, oh, going to hell. Yeah! Woo! Yes! It says that. Going to hell. I'm going to hell. Oh, well, home. Well, same thing in my mind. Same thing. All right. Oh. Okay, now we got to wait for Mel to uh, hit us back. But while we're waiting on that, uh, I think we had another thing to, uh, yeah, we had some more emails over here. Where's it at? Uh, emails. Oh, oh, Lord have mercy. You guys are getting really, really like, oh, man. Wow, okay. This is a question. I don't I don't believe this. This is crazy. I mean, I, I'm not going to say the person's name, but it was a 13-year-old. How the hell are you getting on this podcast? What type of parents do you have at 13? You're, I don't know. All right, whatever. No, I mean, you guys want to hear it, a 13-year-old. I, I guess I'm his... I'm, if I'm your idol... You have, all right, before we read that and I go to jail reading that question, uh, which I'm really scared about, I might not read that. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, the answer's back. It says, uh, why so black people smell bad? You know, why do, why do so many black people smell bad? So blind people can hate them too. Are you kidding me? You racist Fuck. Yeah, and I said it. And I don't think I said his name too on here. Good. Good. I'm glad I said your name. <laughs> yeah, how about that, you racist fuck? The world knows. <laughs> oh, I keep breaking the rules of my podcast. <laughs> well, buddy, you're a racist fuck and the world knows about you. I'll, I'll go ahead and get you back on that later. We're supposed to be going to drink with him later, so we're going to have a hell of a night. Freaking buddy. All right, we're going to read this question, and I don't know, first off, I don't know how the hell a 13-year-old is listening to the podcast. Is it him again? Yeah. Now he puts, ha, 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 ha. I'm going to put fucker. Maybe he'll think I'm real pissed off or something. <laughs> what an asshole. During the podcast, too. I Oh, I, yeah. I'm going to tell your ass tonight. Listen to the podcast. You're a part of it. How about that? Oh, Jesus. All right, let's get to the question. Again, this kid is 13 years old. And if you're his parents, literally, you, you, need, you, need, you need help. And what the fuck are you doing letting your child listen to me, of all people? He's going to be in the basement <laughs> next to me. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay, it says, uh, all right, Clay, you know, I'm, I'm 13 years old. I do listen to your comedy. I think you're great. Um, uh, <laughs> my parents don't know I'm listening. What? How the hell is this kid... He can't, he's not a friend on Facebook. How the fuck? I mean, all right, whatever. Nine times out of ten, he's got to be like my one of my daughter's friends, whatever. All right, whatever. Uh, 13 years old, da 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 Okay, my friends, they think I'm spoiled. Uh, I, I honestly uh, don't think I am that spoiled. And I love my friends dearly. Um, but it bothers me um, about their rude comments. How do I ask them to stop? Or should I just ignore it? Uh, all right. All right. Well, well, son. The truth of the matter is, you're fucking spoiled. I'm not gonna tell you this. 
Because when at the age of 13, 12, uh, you're not going to candy coat anything. Your friends are actually telling you how you actually are. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, the kids at that age, they like to fuck with you, and they fuck with you using the truth. You know, if you have, like me, I had, I, 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 when I was younger, my lips did not match the size of my face. <laughs> so they call me Big Lip, Big Lip Clay. Do you know how much that hurt for years? I can't even say it now because I know I know somebody is going to be listening to this. Oh, it's the truth. They fuck with you about the truth. So if, if it bothers you, it's probably because you are spoiled. You know, you want to figure out whether you're spoiled or not. Go home and interrupt your parents in the middle of a conversation. And if they go, oh my goodness, what, what, what's, what's your problem, um, Earl? That's not his name. We're just going to make up a name. Earl, what's, what's, what's your problem? You're fucking spoiled, okay? Because you need to be back smacked for interrupting your parents. You're fucking spoiled. There's your test. Interrupt your parents tonight, and if you don't see your father snap a look at you like he wants to wrap his hand around your neck and just squeeze, uh, you're spoiled. So, yes, that's the truth. That's the truth of the matter. Kids tell the truth. I play football. I give. I play football back in the day. This guy, the, uh, kids. I'm not gonna say his name, but you know who you are out there. They gave me this nickname called Mr. Big Play. Now, you know. I was decent in football. I was decent. Well, for some reason, the 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 paper loved me. I was a, I was a junior, and the paper loved me. Anything I did, they they literally um they blew it up, blew it up. I mean, but it wasn't big things I was doing. <laughs> so they took a picture of me, and it was a really cool photo. And I was going around the side, literally. And during this game, I literally had four yards. No, it was no three, was three, three yards, and. <laughs> and all it showed was Clay Miles going around the side and you know, Mr. Big Play and they, they called me that in the paper and that's the truth, that's what happened do you know that became that became my nickname forever to this day, I still have people uh, coming up to me hey, it's Mr. Big Play I, I had three yards in that game and, and Jeff cut out the picture and put it and, and put a comment underneath Clay Miles, Mr. Big Play Miles, goes around the corner for one of his two yards. Because <laughs> it's the truth. It was, it was the truth. This happened. Okay, this happened. He didn't have to embellish. This happened. So, yeah, when kids fuck with you at that age, it's because you, you are that. I mean, it hurts. But, so, I think the best for you to do to handle it is, is you know... Let's put it, deal with it. I mean, just, you know, just deal with it. Just understand that kids are going to fuck with you and don't go out and grab a gun or some shit. You know what I mean? Just be be a man. Say, hey, I, I might be a spoiled little bitch. Say something about them. You know what I mean? Get, you know, go back and forth. You know what I mean? Don't, why are you writing me about this? You're, you're this close to shooting somebody. Just, just, just pull your bootstraps up and be a, can't say be a man. Well, act like a man. All right. But thanks for writing me, though. I mean, it's really, you know, exciting, the fact that you actually like what I do. That's actually pretty awesome. To tell you the truth, I'm actually uh, pretty cool. Uh, okay. I got another got another one here. All right. Okay, this person says, uh, uh, you might not remember me. I came to your gig at RFD in D.C. Cool. Uh, we met the day before. All right, good to go. Um, and I, it was a bad ra rainstorm, and you were saying something about uh, only having. Oh my God, you're not gonna put me out there like that. Yes, you are. I know exactly what. Okay. Uh, I had one windshield wiper working, not the driver's side. It was just the other side. I'm, I'm fucking. I'm, I'm an un. Famous comic, I'm fucking broke. I'm in the fucking basement. How much money do you think I fucking have? So one of my windshield wipers was, was got uh, broke maybe about a month ago. <laughs> so their question is, look here, you cheap fuck. Did you get it fixed yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> 
Not yet. And when it rains, I literally, I look like the coolest black man on the road. People are like, look at that man leaning in his car. He is leaning hard, not realizing I'm leaning over to the other side to see out of the windshield because I can't see out of the front. I got to look outside the passenger side of them. So I just look like the coolest black man. I literally look flat in the car. I'm leaning so hard. So, <laughs> no, I didn't get it fixed. And thanks for putting my fucking business out there. That was great, though. Thank you for, for writing in. That was great. I love how I do that. Asshole, asshole, asshole. Hey, thanks for listening to the podcast. <laughs> thanks for coming out. Oh. Uh, well, that's the podcast show for this week. Uh, I want to thank you, uh, everybody, for listening, coming out. I'm getting some great uh, responses from you guys. Uh, I'm loving everything that I'm getting. It's nothing but positive. There is no negative thing you can write, even if you curse me out. Please write in. Uh, write me at uh, clay at claymiles.com. That's my email address. Uh, find me on uh, Facebook. You can also find me on Twitter. Uh, it's just Clay Miles, one word on Twitter. You can find me on Facebook at the official Clay Miles page. Uh, keep on writing, keep on sending your requests uh, in. We're actually going to be changing stuff on the website. As you can see, the website's changing every day. I'm putting videos up there that I think are funny. You know, I just don't want, I'm not going to put only my stuff, self stuff, my stuff up there. God, speak, Clay. Get your, get your tongue out of your lap and speak. Stop sucking your dick on the podcast and talk, you fuck. But, uh, but yeah, keep on coming out. I try to keep it uh, interesting. Main thing I'm going to do is keep it real to me. If you don't like it, don't think it's funny, at least it will be entertaining. So, fuck you. But thank you for coming out. I appreciate it. Talk to you next week. Wow. Now you see why he lives in the basement? If you would like to continue supporting this podcast, come back next week. Clay has an endless wealth of ignorance that he can pollute your life with. If you have questions about your life that you would like answered by someone who can't get it together himself, email him at clay at claymiles.com or send the questions to his Facebook page, the official Clay Miles page. From the bottom of my heart, thanks for tuning in. The more you listen, the less he talks to me. Thanks again.